And here we are back again, ladies and gentlemen. Lawlight versus Colorful, our second match of the day. And we jump right in, because we're starting on Concealed Hill. We are in the early game. Lawlight in the top right, playing, of course, a Demon Hunter first. Same as Colorful. And I wonder what we're going to be seeing here. Is it just going to be pure bears? Or might it be something else? Well, most likely, it's just going to be pure bears. Demon Hunter, Naga. And off we go. And normally, Colorful is extremely good in Bear Mirror. Extremely good. So good, in fact, that the last five times he played against Lawliot, he won every single encounter. He is kind of the king of Bear Mirror. That's also how he was able to win... The WGL uh, Championship against Moon in the Grand Final, as you may remember. Oh, Creep Jack here. Might be one Archer going down. Yep, gets that one. And almost a second. Oh, gets it as well with the boots. Law Lyot doesn't have boots over here. I want to get this archer, at least. Archer falls, however, denied. Colorful coming out a bit on top here. Oh, Naga. Could have gotten the archer kill. Bit of a missed opportunity here by Colorful, but it's fine enough. Wait, is that like on Keeper? Oh, he is? I always felt like his Naga was extremely strong. Hoping for the late game, perhaps, with Thorns Aura and all that. Well, alright then. Let's we'll see how that goes. Struggling a bit with this creep camp, but we'll get it now. The items here are really not the best, especially the one of mana ceiling. Pretty terrible. Oh. Got level C's Lawlight coming. Is there going to be a timing window to see the last hit? Not really. Colorful gets the item. Cloak of Flames! Oof! That can be amazing. If you're in the right position against bears. If I was playing Demon Hunter, I would never sell the cloak. Never ever. But uh, I've seen lots of Night Elves actually sell it. Of course, it is a lot of gold that you get from it. And especially with that red camp, along with the archer kills, it seems like Colorful has managed to work his way towards a nice little lead here. How good is this keeper gonna be later? That's what Lawlight is banking on. On a strong keeper. aggressive now. Talisman of Evasion. Wow. Lawlight's items are terrible. Dryad's coming and soon bears. That is of course what we have to expect in this matchup. We've been seeing from Moon especially a little bit of talons recently on some maps. Like LR and uh, maybe Echo Isles. But I'm pretty sure Colorful is never gonna play Talons. He loves playing Bears. If someone is to do it, it might be Lawlight. But I believe also that's pretty unlikely. Ooh, nice mana burn steal. And that's level 4. Very early. Lawlight's still a bit away from the level 4. Lawlight right now two levels behind. This might be the perfect time for Colorful to force a fight. Naga going home, trying to pick up that orb.
crystal ball. Dude! What is going on with these items? It's starting to get a bit ridiculous. Alright, finally gonna get level 2 and 4 here soon. Seems likely now that they're gonna creep the red camps on each side. And we don't have many creeps left at all anymore. Alright, this is perhaps the most important item on the map. Scourge bone chimes are possible. Oh, look at Colorful. He's going for a tricky play. He saw he was being revealed here by the crystal ball, so he knows the light is expecting him to creep. So instead, he's gonna go for the attack. Heal pot on the debunner is very good. All light doesn't have a TP. He's gonna have to walk back, but he's close to the main base. He's gonna defend. Not quite level 4 yet is this demon hunter. One move that goes down. Oh, Lawlight seems to be in trouble. He's supply blocked now, but he's got lots of bears. Wow. That's a ton of bears. He's got five bears. Keeper instantly almost dead. Colorful only has two bears here. Where is bears? One is coming now. But that might be too late. So much damage from these bears, dude. All of a sudden, the bear gang comes in. Demon in trouble on one side, Naga in trouble in the other. There should be a staff though. Yeah, there is a staff. The Entangled not really doing much at all. This Keeper pretty useless so far until now. Now he's got level 2. Now he's got the Aura. This is a big different story. Different, different story now, excuse me. Alright, Colorful lost one bear. I think only a single unit died, right? I think it... Oh, no, it was two bears. Okay, one here and one there. One on each. Lawlight's still supply blocked. The Moonwell hasn't finished yet. He was a bit late, I believe, with starting that Moonwell. Bear staffed out. No expansion yet, just for supply. Bears. I would expect more upgrades soon. In Miss Archer. Scouting. And this is good for Colorful. He knows Lola is busy right now with the AOW. He's gonna creep the red, and then maybe he can contest the other red camp right after. It's gonna be Naga level 3. Oh, and guess what he finds. Alright. To keep it 350, um, the item drops were very unfair. Very unfair this time around. What's this gonna be? Rune Bracers would fit the best. Okay, not that bad. Rope for the Keeper is okay, but honestly, it's not that good. Oh, bear getting caught. That's not good either. These will... Slow. And that's one bear going down for free. These bears are so important. Oh, like, gonna be a tough spot to defend. He's gonna have his moon wells to support him. He's fighting against a big army by Colorful. Oh. Naga avoids getting mana burned. That's a big deal as well. And one Moonwell goes down right away. Supply blocking. Colorful once again. I mean, Lolai. Naga taking a lot of damage here. Colorful just wants to take out the Moonwells. TP home. Saving everything. And if he had uh, Moonwell supply open, he could go for more bears now. And Lolai wouldn't be able to follow up into that supply. Colorful could also just expand here. It's going for more upgrades for now. The 
Keepers and Tangles so far really haven't done much. But of course, the big downside of the Keeper, the Dryads with the Abolish, are a very good counter to him. Oh, Colorful doesn't have Wellspring yet. That seems like a bit of an oversight, perhaps. Lola had got some scrolls. That was important. Both now with one heal and one protection scroll. Oh, Lawlight actually has two heal scrolls. <clears throat> That's perhaps the one advantage that he has. Along with Moonwells. Moonwells also in the back. Cloak of Flames of the Deep Hunter doing a lot of damage against these bears. And the Rejuve is running through. Lawlight didn't cancel the Rejuve for a long time. One bear for Colorful about to drop. Could have micro that a bit better, maybe. He's still committed, though. Deep Hunter, very low HP already. Heat Scroll used, Invuln used. And I think the Light should be able to hold here. Demon Hunter needs to be careful. Demon could be in trouble. Lolai has the double orb, by the way. Oh, Lolai, wait a minute. He might be turning this around right now. Against the Scourge Bone Shimes, of all things. Ah, uh, but perhaps not. One bear about to go down as well. The Dispel too late here. Some clear micro mistakes by Colorful, I think. This first bear lost way too easily. The Demon Hunter took too much damage. And also some dispels were too slow. But he's about to be level 5. And Lola had to use a lot of items here. This green camp is still here. And that will indeed be level 5 now. Two more bears coming. That's going to be double rejuve once more. All in all, the game is pretty even. Upgrades even, supply count even. However, there is certainly a clear experience lead on Colorful that can't be denied. Oh, we even got level 4 here. Level 2 Cold Arrow, very strong as well. Why isn't Colorful going for more upgrades? Right now is the perfect time. He's got 50 supply. But he's not doing it. <coughs> A player's forces are under attack. Zeppelin for Lawlight. He's a master at that one as well. Colorful now going for the third attack upgrade. There's almost maxed out. Oh, the burn against the keeper could hurt quite bad. Looks like Colorful is trying to scare Lawlight into upkeep. Lawlight isn't falling for it. Where are these dispels? Lawlight again not dispelling against the Rejuf. Now he is. Alright, good start of the fight for Lawlight. The opponent's Demon Hunter isn't here yet. Oh, but the bear just barely gets uh, out of there. But now the Demon Hunter is coming back. Doesn't want to take this fight anymore. The mana burn, very strong. One HP. One hit point on the bear. He'll be able to save himself to the fountain. Oh, 
the GPS is kind of malfunctioning. This is uh, the wrong corner. Maybe he wants to go camping. Spend the night in the tent. No, never mind. Okay, now it's time to go to the fountain. Alright, it's go time once more. Supply lead. For colorful, but uh, Lloyd's got faster reinforcements. Team Hunter, hardcore surrounded. This is the perfect invuln. Oh my god. So much damage wasted. So much DPS also from the Cloak of Flames. And Rejuve running on the Demon Hunter once again. He's in pretty deep here. Even the Shredder trying to take part in the fight. We have level 2 Thronzora now, but it's countered perfectly by the Scourge Bone Chimes, of course. Lawlight can't be happy about the fact that Colorful found the Scourge Bone Chimes. And Colorful seems to be pushing through. Lots of Rejuve everywhere. Fork Lightning. Demon Hunter in trouble has to fall back. He's not level 5 yet. Colorful is. Finding more kills, getting more experience. And so many healthy bears still for Colorful. He's losing some of them, but not enough. Demon Hunter goes down. And that is the 1 0 for Colorful. Clean game. Standard bear mirror, basically. This is exactly the kind of game that Colorful wants to play. He doesn't want to play anything fancy. He doesn't want to play anything crazy. He just wants to play straight up bear mirror. And that works. He is very, very strong with this strat. We're getting ready for map number two. Last refuge. And this normally also considered a very good map for demon hunter and bears. Wouldn't be too surprised here to see the same once again. Yeah, we see Moon playing. Sometimes he surprises us with unusual strategies, showing us like Talons or Podum Expo plays. But Lawlight, I think most of the time, also sticks to Bear Mirror in Night of Mirror. And, of course, so does uh, Colorful. He always does. Alright, this time around, it seems like at least our lobbies are working out better. And we are ready for map 2. Lawlight in the bottom left, trailing now, 0-1. Wants to keep this series even, wants to score now, to not fall behind in this best of 7. Oh, different creep routes. Hello. Ancient of War creep at the shop first. This used to be meta a long time ago. I think before the Ancients of War got nerfed. Nowadays, normally, it's always Team Hunter creeping this camp first and then this one after. Interesting. Lawlight mixes it up. Oh, and thank you, by the way, Zelani with the resub.
Even the mighty moon can't defy the gods of lag today. Must be a demon, right? Potom hardly played nowadays. It feels like on some maps Potom might be good, but not on this one. So Colorful isn't going to scout this, so he has no way to try to counter this. Oh, or maybe he is. Okay. Where's the Wisp going to go? Normally the Wisp goes here. Okay, pretty cool by Lollite. He figures out that he can go for an, in quotes, risky creep here at the start, because Colorful is unlikely to scout him. Or at least to scout him in time. Oh, but Colorful, he sees that there's nothing being crept here. And I guess that should tell him. This does take quite some Wisp Repair, so um, this is going to slow down Lollite's tech by a decent amount. But he's going to get an instant level 2. He buys a Circlet. And Colorful is still not going to harass. Thank you, Ruffle the Cuts, with a gifted sub. Much appreciated. He got an Agi toe. Oh, true! Plus two Agi. Hell yeah. And going for another circlet. Alrighty. The downside of the creep up for the light is he can't go for the Merc Camp, which is exactly what Colorful wants to do. Boulder on the Shadow Priest, that's an easy kill. But Lawlight here eating through the trees. This is gonna take some time though to take out this camp just with the Archer and Ancient of War. Oh, Lawlight playing with fire here. He's gonna use the Begin Will Potion. That. Was that worth it? Maybe a bit of a waste? Oh, if he gets the Ancient of War. Oh no! Perfect usage! If he gets it. If he gets it, if he gets it, oh, he got it. Getting blocked by the archer. Oh no, he didn't TP in time. Oh no, if he just TPs out, this was a great play. Oh, oh, that was painful. Kylo finds his sewing mask, and that was so much experience. Ancient of War also destroyed. Lawlight, of course, he had to multitask, you know. This wasn't an easy situation. Tough spot to be in and... Got punished. Quite hard. It hurts. Colorful's Hunter's Hall, though. Very late. These lores will be... Much delayed indeed. Oh, but Lawlight only has a single archer. Creeping now in the mid-game isn't gonna be easy, especially because he lost the AOW. Oh, this is a bad spot. This is a bad spot for Lawlight. Colorful has three archers and a Berserker. He also lost the Ancient of War, to be fair, but he's got way bigger of an army. Lawlight needs to get something done now. Oh, Agitome. Doesn't want to give it up. 
All right, that guy goes down. It's gonna be traded though. But like it's the Berserker and maybe even an Archer. No. This Archer survives. Okay, but considering how bad this was for Lawline, he's kind of fighting his way back. He's gonna get a lore cancel as well. But he's not going tier 3 yet. Well, neither is Colorful, I guess. Unusual turn of events here. In 15 minutes, I have to leave, by the way. Uh, I got an appointment, which uh, I have to take. So I may have to leave you guys soon, which is a shame. Normally, Neo said he might be able to be here to take over. But uh, so far, I haven't heard from him. Forces are under attack. The town is under siege. All right, how's this game looking now? Tier 3 coming on both sides. Colorful a bit faster. He still has the bigger army. He can still creep easier. Nice pull. Big item here. What's it gonna be? Cactus pipe? No. Medallion? Hmm. Is that good? Okay, I'd say. Not really that good. IMO. That's a good one. Ancient Django, always welcome. More move speed, more attack speed. Alright, colorful. Is he gonna get the rune... Uh, Scourge Bone Chimes again. Can he be that lucky? No. Quelthalas Boots, though. Those are very nice. Agitome. Hell yeah. 36 Agi. Lots of creeps on Last Refuge, always. Creep up the entire map here. So we got some turtles in the corners. We still got the labs. And we got more bears coming. Upgrades soon to join. Or to follow, I should say. Players 
All right, now I'm about to get level three. No keeper, of course, this time. Lawlight also with a shredder. His lumber was looking okay, but this is gonna ensure his lumber is gonna be excellent. All right, what's the item situation saying? Mana stone looking good in the Naga for Lawlight. Demon Hunter also looking strong. Demon for Colorful also looking good. I'd say items this time around very even. And experience also very even. Despite that demon loss, somehow this aim game ended up being very even in the end. Thank you, Dargok, with a 20 month resub. Oh, is it Zeppelin time? Oh, it's Zeppelin time, boys! This could be the GG move. Doom drop into the main. That's the easiest way to win Night of Mirror. It feels like Colorful doesn't see it coming, or maybe he does. Well, I think he's too late. Yeah. Fog Lightning against the Wisps. And, oh, the repair. Trying to save it. The Zeppelin goes down. The Naga in trouble. She has to TP. Oh, does he have the damage? Wait, where was the roar? Where was the roar? Lolite forgot to use roar? Are you serious? I think with Roar, he gets that kill, right? That was a big mistake. And he did have Mark of the Claw, so he could have used it easily. Kind of weird. That was a scary moment for Colorful. If he loses the tree, he loses the game. But he holds on to it. Alright, the game slows down a bit again. We have a few more creeps to go for. Firebrand and Shadow Fury. Wait, isn't that what the dragon was called in How to T Train Your Dragon? Ah, no, wait, 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 wait. No, it was called uh, Night Fury, right? Yeah, Night Fury. Dude, I love that movie. How to Train Your Dragon, the first one, so cute. Really cute movie. And then the second one, unfortunately, was uh, very bad. But the first one, I still like to this day. It was called Toothless. Yeah, yeah, true, Toothless. But uh, the, the dragon species or type or whatever. Night Fury! Oh, well, let's get all the lumber in the world, but he's missing gold coins. Wait, where's the next Zeppelin? Oh, there it is. Bears inside. Naga Invis. Double Invis by Lawlight. Oh, if he gets revealed here. Oh. I think he's trying to block Colorful, maybe, with his Invis heroes or something. We got an AO wind coming finally. Yeah. <laughs> Invis Hero's blocking, sort of. Alright, this is weird. There's going for the entangled. Naga for colorful. In trouble as well, but there's a million moon juice. So in the entangled falls. The Zeppelins can be picked up. This team hunter is way too late to the party. TP force. Oh, Zeppelin destroyed. But. All units survive. A bit dizzy. Like me, Sunday mornings in church when I'm enjoying the incense a bit too much.
Give me another hit. Past her. The player's forces are under attack. Colorful's had enough. Finally, he's making epigraph. Doesn't want to be bothered anymore by these zeppelins. But that's two dead supply. That's not going to help in the fight. Claw I come for more upgrades. How long is dizziness? Good question. I'm not sure. Maybe like a minute? It's over now. If you want to go back in the VOD, you can check. It feels like a minute. Anybody knows? He's not mining. Yo! Oh my god, that's so much gold! Look at the difference! That's more than a thousand gold! Oh my god, colorful! Bro! Dude! No way. No way. He's not realizing it. <laughs> oh my god. 1,500 gold difference. Alright, here we go. Now he is. Couple of weird mistakes. Honestly. This game here, by both players, sort of. Lol, I was able to bank lots of gold. Somehow, he is not super far ahead in gold and upgrades. Despite all that gold missing. Knight of Mirror is weird sometimes. More like color empty. <laughs> Good one. All right, Calipher wants to force a fight. All right, it has a TP. He could pull it to evacuate, and he does wisely. Alright, Neo just uh, told me he's on the way home and he's gonna take over the stream. Uh, it might take a few minutes uh, until he's ready. Uh, because I gotta go very, very soon. Hopefully we can see the end of this game. Depends on uh, what they got planned. Yo, Lawlight all of a sudden 2,000 gold. Jesus Christ. Wait, when he was sitting here, didn't he have like 400 gold? And he had 2,000 gold. This is a weird game of numbers here on it, Last Refuge. Oh, he's doing fake production. Oh, he knows he's being scouted by a hippogriff. So he's doing fake production, trying to bait Colorful into producing himself. But Colorful's not taking the bait. He's just sitting at 50. Yeah, no, he's not really going MGs. He's just canceling the upgrades over and over. So it looks like he's producing. Special tactics indeed. Alright, here we go. Now it's time. Six bears queued, baby. That's 24 supply. Quick maths. Colorful trying to squeeze every bit of gold that he can here out of his gold mine. More upgrades. I would expect both sides to be fully upgraded. Yep. Both about to be at 3-3. Three, three. 
I'm not sure if Colorful can also get it to 80 supply though. Oh dude, he's really cutting it close. This Hippogriff for scouting has actually been really nice. Did he see the new bear coming out? I think he did, right? Yeah, okay. And now, production starts. Alright, if Colorful is defending in his main, he's gonna have way faster reinforcements. And the demon hunters are very strong. Look at that mana burn. Minus 150. Fun fact. Did you guys know? When Reign of Chaos first came out, the mana burn level 1, uh, I mean, the minus 100 mana burn used to be on level 1. It used to be minus 100, minus 200, minus 300 mana on the mana burn. <laughs> the good old days. We got fairies even. Damn! And how is he gonna kill fairies? It seems like fairies are unkillable with this low dryad count. You know what? Oh, Colorful forgot about the Moonwell. That's a bit of a problem. Low light, 72 supply. Tree of Eternity, walking over. Dude, so much crazy stuff happened in this game, but it's still even. How weird is that? I wonder how effective these fairies are going to be. All right, we're mining out. 80 supply. Level 5 Demon Hunter, of course, is a noticeable lead on Colorful side. He's also got more experience on the Naga. He might get a little 5 with her in the fight. Alright. Is it time? Is it time to partay? So much mana on the bears, so much rejuve. The Dryads can never keep up with all the despo. Lolite's also got a Shredder. That one is actually weaker than the bears, though. Well, I guess he does a tiny bit. Oh my god, so much rejuve. And in we go. Fairies in the middle of everything. But the bears aren't really casting anymore. Oh, it's trying to take out the fairies with the Dryads. I guess that's gonna work out. Scroll of protection, scroll of healing on both sides. Invo potion on colorful. Lolite, running back with a demoner. What's the demoner ba doing back here? He's not even fighting in the front line. He needs to get back into the vanguard. Colorful's bears seem a bit healthier. The shredder though still doing lots of damage on the other side. Demoner now. Where's the dispel? Again the rejuf. Was running for a long time. Heal scroll used once more. Lolite's Demon Hunter in trouble. Staffed out, but he's over here. He needs to use more rejuvenation, but Colorful seems to be doing it. How? I don't know. Somehow he always wins these bear mirror fights. And it is a mystery. And he smashed that fight. Dude. 25 supply more. And now he's gonna turn well, take out the tree. And that should be his game. He doesn't have the Tree of Eternity mining himself, he didn't move it over, but I don't believe he has to. Level 5 Naga still has a good amount of mana here, by the way. Going for the second Orb of Venom. That was probably a good idea. Now the tree's walking. And Lolite's gonna call it. GG. And Colorful takes the 2-0 lead. Alright, and this is where I have to go, guys. I'm sorry, we're gonna miss map 3, unfortunately. I have an appointment, I gotta go, but Neo is on his way back home right now. Uh, he should be here in maybe 10 minutes, more or less, I think. Alright, I gotta say goodbye to you now. 
Like I said, I gotta go. Sorry about that. Neo's gonna be here very soon. 10 minutes maybe. And then he's gonna be back. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow we have Dobie Cup continuing, which is gonna be two very fun matches tomorrow, if you ask me. Moon versus Chemico and Lin versus Fortitude. Tomorrow here at Dobie Cup. Same time as always on Back to Warcraft, uh, which is 12 p.m. noon. Is it a.m. or p.m.? I don't know. I always forget. But yeah. See you guys tomorrow at noon. And enjoy the rest of the night of... Hey! Hello and welcome everybody to... Uh, Doobie Engine of Wonders Cup Play Day 11. We are in a little bit of a situation here as Remo had to leave and I was still on the road. In meetings. You know, busy, busy Neo. Business Neo had to attend some meetings and that is why we're not in the game currently but what we got is a restream by fly so without further ado let's go in as always with the restream we won't have the in-game because fly is talking over it uh what we do see is that law light got a map and i think oh he's about to get the demon on time it's so close <laughs> <laughs> so when Remo left, it was 2-0, wasn't it? Didn't uh, Lolliet win? Uh, Colorful win both of the matches back-to-back? -back. I'm not too sure because I was only uh, listening from audio on my way back. But I think that's what happened. So Lolliet, probably with a rush or something, got a map here, making this a 2-1. And, and in this best of 7, this means that Colorful has still two maps to go. And Lolite starting his comeback, getting the Ogre Magi now. That was quite nice, while my stream is not that nice. Come on! No, yes, I see that something went wrong. Yeah, when Remo left, Colorful was up 2-0. Oh, nice. So I assumed correctly. Uh, so all of a sudden, Lawlight under a little bit of pressure, as it seems, as Colorful's Demon Hunter is packing quite a punch. And with boots, he's also a bit faster. <sighs> needs the Moon Wills. Needs the Moon Wills. Oh, was it a little misclick? Dude, oh my god, it was so close. Save the Moon Well. Use the potion that he just found from the Magi. So that is now what we're getting. Interesting overlay these guys got, by the way. But hey, Lore's coming, tier 3 as well. Loliot hides in the shadows here, but he's still hurt. And how is he saving himself? Maybe only with the town portal? Because now the Naga has the chance to turn around. Oh, ignores the Demon Hunter. Naga has another potion in the moon world, but everything is so close. Needs the damage, needs to force the town portal. Loliot in trouble, Colorful also in trouble. But the Chinese takes the victory here, takes the kill. And now Loliot gotta be afraid of his demon hunter. Hides in the shadows again! Just barely though. Oh my god. What a game by Colorful. He was a bit behind, losing... The Magi in the middle now needs the last bit of moon juice. Oh, the RNG is, is with Colorful here. What a sick match this is. Waiting for the bears, waiting for the Ritu, and coming! And Lolite is losing the second hero as well. Calls for the game, and that is the three and one for Colorful. Oh my god, now I gotta rush to get into this game, and hopefully, this all works. Hurry, Warcraft, hurry! Oh man. That was over at the beginning stages of tier 2. When do you ever see this? Very, very rare in a Night Elf Mirror. And we're in the game, everybody! But we got a bad connection. There we go. All right. Colorful about to take the W here then. He has match points all of a sudden. And Lawlight. He's in trouble in this league, guys. Quite a bit, actually. Only losses so far for the vice champion of Arcadia. The vice champion of Dreamhack. <sighs> That's too bad, guys. That's too bad. 
but uh, yeah, for Colorful, it will also be the first victory. Lawlight is currently 0 and 4, Colorful 0 and 3. So both need a W here, as only a win in the best of 7 is giving you the points. As you probably know by now, here it is. The standings currently with Happy and 1 to 0, of course, on top. Moon behind Kaho. Lin still has to play a couple of matches. Same does Soin. But Lolai, Chemiko, and Colorful Man, they need to start scoring. Only one of them can do it here today. As uh, I was in a hurry, apparently for no reason, as the Chinese are taking their sweet, sweet time. Thank you guys for uh, waiting after Remo was gone. But so far, yeah, we're not starting anything. Hopefully it all goes well. Everything should be prepared. Nice, yeah, I was on my way, exactly. Uh, Remo has an appointment. I don't know if he shared what he's doing. So I won't uh, dox him. I had a little business meeting at the early uh, hours. It was very, very pleasant. Hopefully successful. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Yeah, uh, one of my f rare casts, I cast GNL yesterday, uh, where I was once again not successful. But you were all cheering for me. That was nice. Raraland 2 confirmed. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 uh. Not at all, everybody. But uh, I met a person that I met at Rara Land. So there is a certain connection. I'm not too sure what the holdup is. Uh, 120 is asking for a minute. Why is 120 making demands? I'm not too sure. Maybe we're waiting for a streamer or something. Who won Kawa Happy? I think Happy won 4 and 2. As far as I know. But, uh, you know, I didn't see the games. But it was Remo doing this for you. In the meantime... Oh, wait, did I do the... Uh, we have some cups this week. As every week, we got on Wednesday the NA Lul Cup and on Friday the Back to Warcraft Cup. Both are up on Challenge already, so you can sign up for that. It is weekly number 46 for the regular weekly cup that is available at cup.backtowarcraft.com. And the NA Lul Cup is reachable via nalul.backtowarcraft.com, I believe. That should be updated already. Yes, it is. So cup.backtowarcraft.com and nalul.backtowarcraft.com. Go sign up, make it big. There's once again $150 in the NA Cup. As we had a join buck here. And I hope they're waiting for me. Yes, they are. Seems like uh, we have slight connection issues everywhere. Go, 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 go. But this doesn't look good at all. This looks like yet another join bug, if you ask me. It happens every now and then. I guess you encountered the same earlier today. <laughs> You guys are quiet today. What's up, you guys? Am I not engaging enough? How was your day with Remo? Did he do all right, or should I scold him later?
Yep, bug indeed. Not a easy situation now for Lawlight. He has to win three maps in a row. In a mirror match. That is rough. And also now waiting times. Never pleasant. Never pleasant at all. Unfortunately, we're Lawlight fans and colorful gets fiends bone gets bone chimes all the time. Yeah, man. I feel ya. Got another bug. That's a lot. But yeah, with colorful games and one to zero in, it doesn't surprise me. But everything feels a little slow today. Lots of bugs earlier today too. Ah, I see. Make some noise, indeed. Make some noise. Now I'm not connected anymore. There we go. Just that kind of a day. Oh! more time for caster viewer interaction did they change the game name maybe if that's the case I'm not aware did okay we try this again can you explain why undead gets dark ranger against each other but other races don't get dark ranger against you d uh, because you can coil the dark ranger that's a big upside she also creates skeletons uh, that you can eat with a lich. That's another synergy. Oh, we're in the loading screen. We're in the loading screen. It's loading, everybody! Ah, looking good. Why does Remo cast all the mirror matches? Well... Um, I had a stressful year and I'm basically on vacation. So, here we go everybody, Lawlight versus Colorful. This might already be the last map of the series here. As Colorful is up 3 and 1, if you win the best of 7, you get the point. And that is what we might see. Colorful, bottom left hand side, Lawlight fighting for the first victory in his engine of Wonders Cups. Wonders Cup run. Uh, and the yellow, upper right hand side. He won one map already, but he needs three of them in a row. So, interesting starting position for Lawlight. Going for the expansion already. I see Neo on stream every day saying he's basically on vacation. That's not true. That's a lie. So Demon Hunter, Demon Hunter, but is that an expansion play then? Or is it just a cheeky sneaky creep route? We'll see about that. So it's an Archer opening, could still go into Expo Mass Dryads or something. Usually mm, mirror matches on this map tend to go into bears, but maybe Lolai doesn't feel comfortable in the bear mirror and wants to try something new. He hates casting here, yeah, that's why I made it my job. <laughs> exactly. So, natural camp will be a little slower, but there shouldn't be an option for Colorful to harass this. It's just 
There's also an instant level 2, right? So, very curious how that turns out. Colorful will be able to claim the middle of the map. Oh, gets a claws. That's so good in the early. Speeds up everything always. So this has to be a big one already for Lawlight. Claws plus nine will of course be ideal. Ring of protection plus four. That is not something you want. I mean, maybe in these early skirmishes it does. It saves you moon juice as the demon hunter will be tanking as you saw on map three that we just barely touched uh, with the restream from fly. But all right, it is level two. He has evasion and maybe that is the idea, but it feels like colorful is just so much faster. And what's the follow-up? It's still a tier two tech, which is also faster for colorful. And he scouted it. So I don't really see the big upside for Lawlight with his creep route just yet. As he's falling behind more and more in experience. He can of course claim these spots now, but feels a little inefficient. He's forcing Colorful into a scout as he's not sure what's up. But Colorful is of course also in the comfortable position where he has two maps of a lead. And yeah, this is... Definitely more efficient by Colorful as Lawlight was going all the way here and then all the way here. And then all the way here. While Colorful was just jumping from this spot to this spot to this spot. A player's forces are under attack. And he was there a tutorial about hotkeys, how pro players use them. Not really. I think uh, there's no common ground, really. Some use the standard keys, some use uh, QWER, some have inventory hotkeys, some don't. Oh. That's a very tanky demon hunter for Lawlight. Can you get another one? Don't think so. And here's the exchange with four arches on each side. Will this tanky demon hunter do something with the ring plus four? Not to be underestimated here. The plus seven demon hunter of Colorful. And it seems like Lawlight is again on the receiving end of this exchange. Nicely bringing these arches in order. There was of course also Engine of Wartime. And that expansion. Maybe it wasn't a little bit too obvious. Can it be punished? Game already on the knife's edge. If this expansion is working, it should be fine, but he's running into the open arms of a Naga. Oh no, and is forced into a town portal. Disastrous game for Lawlight so far. He wanted to be tricky, he wanted to be sneaky as he always is. But that did not work at all. And that's a cancel. And that might just be game. No production from Lawlight. He is tier 2 at least, but just colorful bulldozing through this Night Elf army of his opponent. There is a counter Naga now, trying to force a TP, but not without more murder. Colorful nice Shadow Melt saves as well. Now the TP before there's even more damage. Wants to continue creeping afterwards, and that is basically a perfect. Perfect exchange for Colorful. He got the expansion. He got the town portal. And the game plan of his opponent is also ruined. If you're a Lawlight fan, that's trouble. Inde die alte Rinde. Thank you for the 57 month resub, my man. Less than three. Right back. Colorful is such a golden knight of mirrors. It oftentimes seems like he is the one with the better decisions and the better items and the better control. Almost a steal here, but this was just an illusion. Of course, this was figured out. Lolliet again, a tad too late. He's super close to three. Just one archer kill would be enough, but there's a shadow melt again. 
And there's another Shadow Melt. Nighttime is over soon, though. Can he hang around? Does he want to? Naga's under pressure. Colorful again with the good decision making. Freeing these archers. And now he has to be a Tele Staff. How's the damage? Is it enough? No mana burn used for this. Maybe it was on cooldown? Didn't necessarily see it. Ah, oh, was no mana. All right. I guess. And so these two archers are safe, though. That was the one important thing. And Lorelite is forced into archer talents now. Which can work! But only for so long. The Foggy style of Night Elf Mirror. Foggy was successful against Colorful to a degree. A player's forces are under attack. I'm stronger, I'm smarter, I'm better. Are you also faster? Then you'd be a Def Punk song. Another ring. Oh my god, this is almost plus eight armor now. Well, I guess since the Demon Hunter... Well, the Demon Hunter will probably not tank too much, will he? Colorful on a wonderful way to his first victory in this tournament. All he has to do is win no matter what. And then he gets it with a four and one. Scroll for Beast doesn't even have the cargo to use it. And how do you play this now as Lawlight? You gotta be greedy. You gotta take risks. And with Fairy Fire, you can take these big camps. Getting the boots of Kel'Thalas. All of a sudden, the damage is not looking too bad. He sold the ring plus four for some income, but... Colorful is making the right adjustment. He saw the talents, and so it's not the usual bears that... Colorful loves to play, but it's Mountain Giants, and that forces a reaction out of Law Light and a fast one as well. Keep a third for orbs. Do we have master training? Not yet. Almost. Keeper is here. Does it come as a surprise? There is the spell ready, so probably not. Staff used, but the Demon Hunter has boots and he can continue to chase. No frost arrow used from Naga towards Demon Hunter, so it's no save. And yet another kill. On to the account of Colorful. Colorful is also getting hardened skin, resistant skin, wellspring. These mountain giants, man, they will be hard to tear through with only one orb as well. Not perfect. Lolai knows he has to take more risks. But the big one is already gone. This is just the scraps. This is just for experience and not too much of that. And then it's, of course, more time for Colorful. He'll be hurting a bit, not being able to go into his favorite bear play. But you gotta do what you gotta do. And sometimes that is go to mountain giants. Level 3 and 2 now, of course on dual hero, he's gonna be learning a lot quicker. Crystal Ball, not the item he was looking for. And Lawlight with 3 heroes, waiting for the level 2 fork lightning, uh, waiting for Thorns Aura maybe. Parry up. This is such a beast demon hunter. Oh my god, Claws plus 9. <laughs> yeah, fantastic drops as always. No aura this time for Colorful. Not yet at least. And here's the almost a creep jack, but with no creeps left. Is it even a creep jack? I'm not too sure. Even the archers getting staffed out. Cyclone only lasts for so long as there's always a babysitter dryad. Can you get that demon under to 4? Good point by... Smoke. That DH will be like 1000 HP, 13 armor, 20% evasion. He's uh, pretty close to that, that's right. Oh, I'm having the Remo syndrome, checking the bases for no reason as we have uh, the production at the bottom. Mountain Giants Colorful continues the production. It is a 26 supply lead, but Lawlight smartly going into a different tech. 
So he has to play this for the long run. Four bears. As bears are the counters to mountain giants. This is four MGs. Oh, did he switch? I think he cancelled one. Or was it finished? Oh, it finished. Okay. Yo, this is a lot. I mean, it's the 30 supply that Colorful is ahead. Is only mountain giants. That's not much damage. It's annoying because it's so tanky. And it's disruptive with taunt. Low light now. Ooh, careful. Gets distracted by the taunt. The staff was used already. It's benched for 25. There is the second staff now on the keeper. Is he in time? Is he in time? Oof, looks like it. Also a second orb, but man. Lawlight needs a caretaker now. Takes a bath. Feels good. But can he hold with double orb against this wall of stone? Instant dispel. The demon hunter once again down to one third. This is Lawlight hanging on by a thread. He wanted to go into bears, but Colorful is giving him no time at all. Can this madness of a demon hunter do something? Keeper Staff Naga out of the fight. And as I said, these mountain giants don't provide much damage, but the dryads are hard countering the talents. They can't be attacked by them. They can't be affected by them at all. And there's no piercing damage against them. Needs another staff if he wants to save the demon hunter soon. But also the keeper and the naga in deep trouble. So the talents when... Is the tech transition done? He's now trying to go into Master Bears. Is he just surrounded? No! In a marsh pit full of MGs. At least we get an aura now. The light is hiding behind his production buildings. Four MGs knocking on his door. That's a strong door, but only for so long. And now Lolite wants to go into production, but he freaking can't, or can he? Oh no, Siege Sticks. And he's supply blocked. What a disastrous game for Lawliot. From basically start to finish. At least we got bears now. The unit he was waiting for all along. But he can only build two. That's ridiculous. Colorful has the health stone. He's ready for that. And more and more wounds are falling. Lolight not even rebuilding them. Only now is waiting for the resources. They were blocked inside the lore with a bear. So definitely not a perfect play. He has some items now. Use the consumable. But he's just hanging on by his heroes. Double orb, of course. Powerful. Entangle. Everything. This demon hunter. Supposed to be the savior. Six save by Colorful. Once again, another bear goes down. Is he willing to commit? This were quite some losses, but on the back of this, Colorful is also expanding. Needs some exit kills. Is not able to get them. At least the town portal. At least he got the TP. But Lawlight has to be aware of that expo. Quite a surprise that Lawlight held here. I did not expect this. But the good thing for Colorful is, he can easily transition now into bears as well. Oh yeah, it's level 2 frost arrow. You're right, Bass. Would have been a kill with level 2 fork lightning. Almost no mana. This feels desperate. A handful of talents, one bear, and try hero. These entangles are absolutely useless. We can use Reju on Mountain Giants now. And Colorful is playing a tremendous, tremendous game. Maybe overstayed his welcome a little bit. But that's about it. 72 versus 40. Oh, sorry about that ad. Forgot to click the button. That's on me. And off we go. This is unwinnable. Isn't it? Full focus on the Demon Hunter. It has to be staffed out. Fort Lightning again. Only level 1. 
There's even anti-magic! Ridiculous! And that is a 4-1 victory for Colorful, who shows once again that he has the upper hand when it comes to Knight of Mirrors versus Lawlight. It's oftentimes the case. The stats are definitely in the Chinese favor. And that is it. That is our play day for today. Happy defeats, um, Kaho. And Colorful defeats Lawlight. Sorry about being a little late. And missing one map, but I think we got most of the day covered. Whew, rough day, rough day for Lawlight, rough tournament for Lawlight. As now Colorful won the first set of his own tournament, as he's one of the co-organizers, as far as I know. Yes, he is. Also, according to Liquipedia. And... Yo. Can he attack? I mean... What's left for him? He already played... Happy? Okay, no shame in losing that one. He also lost to 1-2-0. As we always lose to undeads, that... Is no surprise either. What else is there? That's not all matches, is it? Oh, was that? No, zero three. Happy, one two zero, and what am I missing? Ah, to moon. Oh yeah, that was a close one. So tomorrow. There's more. There's Moon vs. Chemico and Lin vs. Fortitude. Some banger matches. So, Moon. Can he stay up there with the undeads? And Lin. Where's he going? Will it be the undeads and the old gods in Lin and Moon? And what about Soen? We still have... We're halfway through now, everybody. Almost. Tomorrow we're halfway through, as we have 24 play days, and today was round 11. Alright. Um, we got two choices now, everybody. A. We close the stream. Or B. We play some ladder. B? Really? You want B? You all want B? Nobody wants to close the stream? Nobody really? Hmm. I guess. Oh, tier 2 sub by Sparrow. Sick, dude. B for ladder. All right. is not an option. Okay, I need either a coffee or water or a holy energy. Just something to drink. So give me a minute and then I'll be back and then we play some ladder. Uh, let me set this up. Neo versus ladder. Uh, you can help me maybe. In the meantime, while I get my coffee, can we get some swarm intelligence here? Are you willing to do some work for me? Chat? I mean, I will work while playing ladder, and I'm working here streaming the games. Are you willing to help me out? No. <laughs> all of a sudden, you're all silent? Really? All right. Uh, you know that we have this tale of a tape thingy, right? This one. I would love to know what kind of statistics you find interesting. You can think outside the box. You can say that this is already enough, which it isn't. We always thrive for more. So what kind of statistics do you find interesting in a tale of a tape. You could also think outside the box and include maps or whatever. We can also do different slides with different stats. I just need some help 
coming up with stuff and then we realize this. I'll be back in three minutes with a drink and some ladder. <laughs> 